Hey guys, I'm John Yellick and I am here in my parents' house in my room and I'm filming a YouTube video because I'm young enough so that it's understandable that I'm in my parents' house. If I was 20 and I was in my parents' house, then it would be kind of um, weird because 20 year olds are supposed to kind of be in college. Anyway, I have noticed a lot of things about society that just kind of drive me crazy. So, here are a couple of them and how to solve those problems that, that drive me crazy. The first problem is the best parent ever category. This comes from internet articles that are saying, this dad gave his daughter a new car. This mom gave her son everything he wanted. A wipeout course was built from scratch for a boy's birthday party. This may qualify as the best parent ever. Let me get this straight. Spoiling your child is the way to be the best parent ever? I think that that's just the way to raise a spoiled, bratty child. It just doesn't make sense to me that best parent evers spoil their child and that somehow qualifies them to the internet standards of a good parent. My standards of a good parent are parents that show their love and show discipline and show respect in certain areas like time and space to their children. I think others will agree with my standards as well because fattening a child really doesn't fit my standards of a good parent. Now if you ever follow Jesus Daily, number two is for you. I'm sure that the Jesus Daily Facebook pages and stuff like that have a good purpose to like share the love of Jesus and everything, but it really doesn't make sense to me the kind of pictures they post on that. There's probably other pictures, but I've seen a lot of pictures from Jesus Daily that are sort of like this. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. Are you going to answer him? Like, if you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and that you are saved from hell. Ignore if you're a Satan worshiper. When I share the gospel, I would like to share it in a loving, kind way, not as a guilt trip. I don't think the right way to share the gospel with someone is to guilt them. I am pretty positive that the way to go to heaven isn't to click a like button. And I'm pretty sure that your faith in Christ is not made stronger by that like button. I think it's made stronger by wanting a relationship and knowledge of Him and of spending time with Him in His Word. Number three is for girls. In my opinion, every girl is pretty in their own way. I'm saying that the beauty is not on the outside. It's right here in your heart. Okay? The beauty is in your heart. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It could be their personality. It could be their looks. It could be both. But don't try to live up to other standards. Guys and girls alike have imperfections, but we all focus on them, and that's not really what we need to be doing. I don't like that phrase, modest is hottest. I think it's really clever that modest and hottest rhyme, but still, you shouldn't strive to be hot. I don't want a hot wife. I want a wife that I have a loving relationship with. And that brings me closer to my loving relationship with God. Because honestly, he is more important than my future wife. If you have some ideas that you are thinking of getting off your chest, just make a video of it. Like, I, you don't even have to have a fancy DSLR camera to make a video about your feelings. Just grab your mom's camcorder and make a video that will change the course of history. Maybe not change the course of history, but still. Let's make some videos that help change the world. This is my video that changes the world. What's yours?